Oh, Leipzig can't put two results together at minus 400. Bochum at plus 900. Flat track bully time, this one. Uh, Leipzig have got a win by two clear goals. And then you've got to pay the juice at minus 140. Draw is at plus 600. Bochum not to score. Minus 105. Uh, you can go with this one, Kev, because I'm not sure Bochum score here. And I thought that minus 105 might be the way to go. Possibly. Um, as you know, I don't like that bet, no, but I can understand why you would go for it because Bochum have only scored five goals in seven games. They've changed their coach. So Thomas Lech has come in. Now he's a guy that did pretty well with Vitesse in the Netherlands. He's a guy that does know German football. He is a German. He's worked as a coach for 25 years, but uh, you know, he's got a hell of a job. Uh, I think he's got the weakest squads in the division. Uh, to work with. Uh, they've conceded a, a huge number of goals, the worst tally in the league. Borkham have lost every single game they've ever played against Leipzig. And I, I do think this is really tough for them because he's saying all the right things, Lech, about communication, about cohesion, and that's fine. But it's not a good side. And I do think Leipzig, for all the problems they've had this season, I think Marco Rosa will get them moving. I think there's too much attacking quality for Borkham to deal with. And this is one of those games where when the market's such a mismatch, that's when you turn to the anytime goal scorers because I think you've got Werner at around minus 110. You've got Nkunku at evens. Um, Soboslai, I think, is plus 130. So they're the ones you look to because if you think that Leipzig are going to win the game and you think they're going to score a couple of goals then just go for one of those. I think that's the way you go. So uh, I think, uh, and because Leipzig generally can't be trusted at the moment, fine. If if, if Nkunku scores and they draw 2-2, two, two, then you come yeah. away with it with no problems. I think Leipzig score three here, Alex. I think that they can score even five, uh, if you ask me. I think that uh, they are hungry for goals. I think that this is a perfect uh, opponent to start uh, after the international break and to add some points to their season tally. I think that they are missing the wins. I think that this is a perfect, perfect spot. Home against Bochum, the worst team that they were so lucky. Imagine my luck last round when uh, Bochum scored. And it wasn't a, a goal, it was an own goal. Zero shots on target, 1-1 one, one against Köln. 18 goal attempts from Köln. Only one... Uh, it, this is unlucky. If this is not unlucky, what is it, you know? Own goal, zero shots on target, and it finishes 1-1. One, one. But uh, we will take it, because the season is long. As you said, um, eight uh, rounds right now. I think that RB Leipzig will destroy Bochum. I'm not a big fan of uh, Rose. I was not never a big fan of uh, Rose. I don't know uh, exactly. I, 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 I don't understand the style of play a little bit. I have to see more games from Leipzig. Uh, but in terms of quality, the difference between the two sides is like huge, like three, four classes. And yes, Bochum has a new coach, but this coach... I think that not only he has the worst uh, uh, squad in the league, like uh, Kev said, I think he needs a lot of time to prepare them and to implement his tactics and to add a little bit of confidence because there is confidence is zero, is on the ground for that team. They know their limits. They, they know that they will go in the second division at the end of the season, is Vaite. So I think that uh, either uh, uh, the new coach will say to them, listen, Maybe we will go down, but let's do it in style. Let's uh, uh, let's uh, enjoy uh, every single moment on the pitch, no matter the opponent. If 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 he doesn't uh, talk like that to them, and he will say, "Okay, let's win this game because uh, uh, we are better," and we, no, this is not the type of team that you can talk like that if you are a coach with them. But again, Leipzig should destroy them. Four, five, zero. I don't see Bochum scoring, but like Kev said, I hate the. Uh, win to nil market. Yeah, I mean, you've got Leipzig win to nil at plus 110. You've got plus, one, sorry, was it minus 105 for Bochum just not to score? But you've also got maybe minus one and a half at minus one four. I can't go near Leipzig. I think Leipzig score three, so that's at minus 110. I've got minus 105 with Bochum. 
Slippy Toast in the chat. He's trying to get his message across because he's like, penalty awarded plus 120. And then he says, I smell a penalty. Then it's like, I'm, I read it. I read it, Slippy, just, but I'm not going to interrupt Alex and, uh, and Kev. So uh, I think uh, Slippy Toast, he expects that there to be a uh, penalty. I mean, I, I like the way you maybe go with a couple of uh, goal scorers. Um, maybe Leipzig to score in both halves, Kev. Yeah, it could be. But again, I, th- I think if you think Leipzig are going to win big, I think prices wise, it, that anytime goal scorer market's the way to go because you can come up with a, a number of options. But I just think that and Kunku's an interesting one because people will look at it and think he's gone cold because he hasn't scored in the last five. I think what's happened is there's been a readjustment. I think he's played a little bit wider at times, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. He's getting into good positions. I think they'll be absolutely fine. I think Borkum are really going to struggle to deal with his movement. I think they'll struggle to deal with whether it's Andre Silva or whether it's Timo Werner. I, I, I think Leipzig are going to be able to, to break that door down. So the only thing I don't trust right now is Leipzig's defensive side of things. So That's why you'd yeah, see it clear uh, from the, uh, the clean sheet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's fair. Because as I said, I mean, I remember Bochum having four or five golden opportunities against uh, Bayern Munich as well. No, they didn't take them. But you keep going in there, you are going to get the uh, rubber the green at some stage. Let's have a little look at the official picks because Alex has gone Leipzig half time, full time at minus one forty, which is same price as the minus one and a half. And Kunku anytime goal scorer at plus twenty. For me, I've left it alone. I think it's one of those where. I may well just, uh, I may go with Leipzig team total. I think they score three in this game, in which case Nkunku is a massive runner at plus 120.